Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn how to plot bar graphs for main factors and interaction term. Here I shall start from previous video on two-way repeated measures analysis. In previous video analysis for two-way repeated measures was performed using Kruskal-Wallis test for mean comparison of treatment factors. In this video we shall use Kruskal mean comparisons component from Kruskal test to plot bar graphs. This video will include Plotting bar graphs for individual factors with standard error bars Plotting interaction bar graph with factor categories Use PAR function to set the graphical parameter MF row is a vector of rows and columns array Subsequent figures will be drawn according to the values used CEX is a numerical value giving the amount by which plotting text and symbols should be magnified relative to the default Load library agricoli by using require function. Create an object for group factor using bar.error function. It plots bars of the averages of treatments and standard error or standard deviance. It uses the objects generated by a procedure of comparison like LSD, HSD, Kruskal, and Waller Duncan. This function requires X is an object that specify means of the comparisons made earlier for group factor in Kruskal Wallis test. To extract means of the comparisons component from object of Kruskal Wallis test use dollar sign before the name of the component. For variation you can use standard error, range, or interquartile range. Here I shall use standard error. Y limit specify the length of Y coordinate axis. You can use maximum value of the response variable or greater than maximum value to adjust error bars within this limit. Main argument specify the title to be used for the graph. Y label represents the title to be used for response variable. In space argument use a value to show the amount of space left before each bar. The same function will be used to plot bar graph for the second factor. Here you need to specify the comparisons of means component from the kruskal wallis test applied on time factor. This will plot a bar graph with standard error bars for time factor. To plot bar graph for interaction term set the graphical parameter again to draw single graph on the device. Again use bar.error function. Specify x argument as an object that represent comparisons of means component from kruskal wallis test that was applied on interaction term. This will plot interaction bar graph. However, the graph does not look decent. We need to plot bar graph for interaction term with factor categories. First compute summary statistics by using aggregate function. This function will provide information for means, standard deviation, and number of observations. This function requires an object x or variable for which summary statistics to be computed. In by argument you can specify the number of independent variables or factors. The elements used in by argument must be coerced to factors before using here. Simplify is a logical indicator. True value indicates the results will be simplified to a vector or matrix. Fun represents a function used to compute the summary statistics and can be applied to all the data subset. Use C argument in function to get means, standard deviation and number of observations from the analysis model applied. As summary statistics represent the aggregate function returned matrices instead of vector. Use do.call function to execute a function call. For what argument use data.frame function to create data frames. Data.stat represents an object created earlier for summary statistics of response variable. Now compute the standard error for each group. Attach the standard deviation component from previous object data.stat. Divide it with square root of number of observations to get the standard error. Rename the columns by combining values according to the column names in a list using generic combine function. Now use paste function to paste concatenate vectors after converting to characters. To get the matrix of interaction means use t apply function. This function requires arguments. X argument is an object that specify the mean values to be used from previous summary statistics. In index argument provide list of factors each of the same length as X. 
in fun argument provide function for the matrix of means. Now we can use bar plot function to plot bar graph with factor categories. Bar plot function requires some arguments. For height argument use object means as created earlier for interaction mean matrix. False value for beside will results in stacked bars. True value will result in juxtaposed bars. LAS specify the orientation of the axis labels. By keeping LAS value 0 will result in perpendicular Y axis labels and parallel X axis labels. One value for LAS will result in parallel orientation for both X and Y labels. Using two value for LAS will result in parallel Y axis labels and perpendicular X axis labels. In Y limit specify value used to show the length of Y axis. CEX.name represents expansion factor for axis names. In main argument you can type title. In YLAB argument type the text to represent the response variable. Border argument specify the color to be used for the borders of the bars. For axis true value will plot vertical bars while false value will result in horizontal bars. Legend.text is logical indicator and specify whether a legend should be included or not. List of additional arguments for legend can be added using args.legend argument. Use segment function to add standard error bars. In this function some arguments need to be specified to draw segments or line representing error bars. X0 and Y0 represent the objects specifying X and Y coordinates of the points from which to draw the line segment. X1 and Y1 arguments represents the X and Y coordinate points showing the upper bound of the line segments. Subtract standard error from the means to show the starting points for line segment on Y coordinate. Adding standard error to the means will show the upper bound of the line segment on Y coordinate. The difference of Y1 and Y0 represent the total length of the line segment. You can change the width of line segment by using LWD argument. Now use the arrows function to add caps to the line segments or error bars. Use same arguments as previously used in segment function. Angle specify the angle of the arrows or caps from the shaft of the line segments. Code specify which type of arrows to be used in line segments. 3 value indicates that arrows to be drawn on both upper and lower end of the line segment. Length argument represents the length of the edges of the arrow heads. I hope this video will help you to plot bar graphs for individual factors and interaction with factor categories. Please comment below if you have any questions.